Okay, to start this workout, we're gonna do jump lunges. But to get into a jump lunge, I'm gonna start with an alternating lunge. Now the difference is the transition here I'm stepping, but we're gonna go into a jump. So before I do that, I wanna talk you through the landing. You're gonna drive up, land soft on your toes, and then go into a lunge. So here we go. So just jump nice and soft, get controlled at it. Your legs don't have to be too wide. Keep them close. Go down to where you feel comfortable. Your knee doesn't have to touch the ground. Main thing is you're loading up this front glute. The weight's on this front foot. Front heel. There you go. 10 seconds to go. You can do a bit of a running motion, but keep soft on the landing. All right, five to go. Two, one. Okay, on your back, alternating elbow to knee, just nice and slow. Don't pull your head. Keep your head nice and neutral, fingertips by your ears, and just slowly rotate, get that rhythm. It's like you're riding a back, riding a bike. Come on, 10 seconds. Keep that core activated. Really contract those muscles. Five seconds. Two, one. Now we're doing windmill push-ups. It's like a normal push-up in a push-up position. Come down, push up. Rotate up. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Keep them back, nice and straight, head neutral. Push up and rotate. Keep that core tight. And just find that rhythm, go at your own speed. Form is everything. This is really gonna test your shoulders. A bit of core. Got 15 to go. Find that rhythm. Got seven seconds. One more rep. All right, next off, knees to chest. On your back, hands by your side, and just rotating those knees to your chest, aiming to get the lower spine off the mat. Really contract those muscles. Roll that back up. Try not to let your feet touch the ground in between every rep. Breathe. Three, two, one. Back up into alternating lunges. So start like this, get that rhythm. Go to where you feel comfortable. Now transition into the jump. Soft landing. Just go to where you feel comfortable. Really try to push yourself. We've got 25 seconds. Keep that form. Standing tall. Soft landing. There we go, come on. 15 seconds. <sighs> Breathe. Keep in control. 10 to go. And we're back into bicycles. Five. Two. One, back into bicycles. Nice and controlled. Nice and slow. Contract that core. <sighs> Focus on your breathing. Try and get that elbow to touch the opposite knee. 15 seconds to go. It's gonna to start to hurt a little. Keep going. We're almost there. Breathe. Two, one. Back into windmill push-ups. Keep that core tight, back straight. Perform your push-up. Rotate up. Again. Now just on the other side. Keep that core tight. Legs nice and straight. And just breathe it out. This is too hard. You can go down to your knees and perform the same exercise. So you just be on your knees like so. Down, up, rotate. Still challenging. Come on, we've got 10 seconds to go. Work through it. And then knees to chest. Let's go. All right, last round. Hands by your side, rotate up. Control your legs and really concentrate on contracting those core and breathe. Try and pause up there for a second if you can and feel the burn. It's really gonna challenge yourself. 
three, two, one. And that's time. Okay guys, to start this workout, we're gonna do a sit through with a push up. So we're gonna build up to it. So start in the sit through position, perform your sit through. One, two, we're gonna start with a push up on the knees. Let's get a little faster now. So one, two, push up. Again, find that rhythm first, get used to the exercise. There's a lot going on, a lot you gotta think about and a lot of stress on the shoulders. So start on your knees, and then we can work. I'll give you a couple of reps now. One, two, down. One more. Next, we've got a core exercise. So we're going into core, leg raises. I want you to start first, hands by side or underneath you. You're gonna bend those knees. Come up and down. Contract that core. You can bring your head up a little bit if you want and breathe through, keep that core tight. Once you're comfortable with this exercise, we'll go into a complete leg raise. So toes pointed, straight legs and up. But master the first exercise, then move up to this. Now we're gonna do a wide squat to narrow. So wide squat, chest up, step it in, bring your knees close together as possible and in. Wide, narrow. Same action, keep that chest up, keeping the weight on your heels, keep that head nice and neutral. Breathe it out. You can have your feet out a little bit, whatever's more natural for you to squat. Once you get close to this, then you can flow a bit so you can jump wide, narrow, soft landing. We get used to the movement first, almost there. Now we're gonna do scissors on our back. So hands by side or underneath you, whatever's more natural. Start with bent knees if you want. Get used to the motion. Keep that core tight and breathe. This is a core exercise. Once you're comfortable with this, this is the full scissor like before. So toes pointed, up and pulse it. Kick it, kick those legs. Scissor away, let's go. Three two, one. Back into our push up with sit through, like I said before. One, two, on your knees. Again, one, two. Keep that head, okay, head up nice and neutral. Get that flow first, get used to the movement, and you can progress forward. Okay, I'm almost ready, you ready? Let's go for some, one. Two, up. One, two, good. It's all about flowing, not jarring, keeping good form. Once you get that flow, just flow through it, one. Okay, back onto our back. Whew. Hands underneath if you want, start here. Whatever feels more comfortable. Once you master this, we can go into straight leg raises. So a couple more reps here. Two, one, now up. Get the toes nice and pointed, legs straight. Contract that core, control your legs. Three, two, one. Squats wide, weight on your heels, down, up, push, together. There you go, good. Breathe, it's gonna get a bit harder now. It's the last round. It's different angles on the legs. Get the rhythm, breathe, weight on your heels, head nice and neutral. <sighs> breathe, good work. Nice, all right, we're gonna go now. Let's jump. It's all about finding the flow, nice and soft landing. Up, down, 
10 seconds, come on, push. And we've got scissors next. And then we can go have a drink. Glass of water, that is no beer. Come on, let's go. On your back, here. Contract that core. Your hands don't have to be underneath you, they can be by your side. This feels more natural for me. All right, let's go for full scissor now. Toes pointed and up. Contract that core. Keep the toes pointed. We're almost there, five seconds, come on. Three, two, one. That is time, good job. Whew. Okay, for this cardio core burner, we're gonna start with body weight squats for 45 seconds. So we're gonna add a little jump into the squat. So I want you to start in the squat, get comfortable with that, coming down, keep those knees wide, loading up the heels, chest up, spine nice and neutral, head in good position. Now we're gonna drive up. Nice soft landing on the toes. Really want you to sink down into that squat before you drive up. We're gonna improve your range of motion. Breathe, soft landing. Don't have to break any records on the jump, just get in that flow. Good, get the heart rate up. Here we go. Almost there. Three, four, five. Come on. Go, come on, five seconds. All right, time. Now this is an active rest, so if you need a little breather, have one, because jumping squats are pretty heavy. Otherwise, we're gonna come up, punch right. Come up, punch left. This is the core part of the workout. I'm going to try to push yourself here. For the core exercises, I want you to try and go the whole 30 seconds. So up and punch. Activate that core, come up and punch through. Almost there. All right, that's time. The next cardio movement we're going to do is a bear crawl. So in a bear crawl position, I'm going to start by coming backwards. Just pushing back with your hands here. Your bum can be up a little bit, and I'm not too paranoid at how high your bum is. Just keep that movement. Breathe. There you go. Just keep moving. Constant movement for 45 seconds. You're gonna, this is gonna get hard after a while because your legs are working on the way forward, and then it's your shoulders working on the way back. And you're also working core. All right, let's go. Step it up a bit for the last 30 seconds. Can you keep up with little Lukey? That's the question. Let's go. Come on, step it up. There you go. Good. Three, two, one, time. Okay, now we're gonna go crunches, hands through our feet. So, same again, line on your back, come up, push your hands through your knees. Breathe, reset, crunch, activate that core. Up and hold. There you go. Focus on your breathing. Come on, constant work for 30 seconds. Let's go. Here we're at. Two, one, time. Back into jumping squats. You know the drill. Squat position, nice little jump, land softly on your toes. So down in a squat, drive up, good. All right, go at your own pace. Get that form right. I want you to work though, it's 45 seconds of cardio. Come on, this is meant to get the heart rate up. Let's go. Good form, nice low squat. Come on, really hinge from the hips, load up those glutes, activate there. All right, 10 seconds, let's go. Flow, let's go, come on. There we go, come on. Work now, 10 seconds. There were two, and that is one, good work. Down to the core section, up, punch. Breathe here. This is your core work. Also like a little rest period. Get your heart rate back a bit. And then we've got one more of bears. And then on our last core. And then we are golden. Come on, 10 seconds. Punch across to that knee. Push. 
two, one. All right, last round of bear crawls. Like I said, get in a comfortable position. Forward, back. There you go. Just breathe. It's gonna get a little harder. I'm gonna give you a little time to get used to the movement. Then we're gonna ramp it up. Are you ready? All right, we're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Back. Come on, keep up with me. Keep up with me. There you go. Come on, 10 seconds. Work now, work now, work now. Let's go. Come on. Good. Almost there. Push, push, push. Let's go. What's the transition here? What's the transition? And booyah, let's go. Up, punching through those knees. Last 30, finish strong. Come on, focus on your breathing. Exhale at every rep. Almost there, 15 seconds. Breathe, you got this. Come on, don't stop, don't stop. Five seconds, almost there. And that is time. Woo. Yes. start this workout guys we're going to be running on the spot for 45 seconds so high knees pump those arms and I want a nice soft landing on your feet this is actually pretty challenging for 45 seconds so if you need to break it up a bit we will so let's go for another five seconds and then I'll show you how you can do a little variation to get through the 45 all right now I want you to just pause it's almost like a march do a little bit of core let's go for 10 seconds here and then we'll do another 10 of running so we've got three more seconds Get all your energy back and let's go. Keep good form, pump those arms. You can punch forward if you want. You can even punch up, work it. Do something different. Forward, let's breathe now. Work through the next 10 seconds. Really contract that core. Two, one. Okay, we're gonna go into a side crunch now. So on your side, knee up, rest your other hand here. And just coming up, trying to get that elbow to touch that knee. Go to where you feel comfortable and really contract those side muscles. We're here for 30 seconds. We've got 10 seconds to go. Breathe and contract that core. Five seconds, two, one. Now we're gonna do a Hindu push-up. Feet nice and wide, hands closer together. Your head is, the, is ducking through and is the, the lead of this movement. So through, up, and back out in the starting position. And go at your own pace, nice and slow, until you get comfortable, and up and back. It's all about the transition from your shoulders, back and putting your weight back into your heels. Let's go quick for 10, let's go, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. good. Get that form right first. Now we're doing a crunch on the other side. So just like before, knee up, hand on your side of your head, come up and contract. You can rest that other hand on the side of your body. You're just rotating up, contracting that core. <sighs> Breathe. We're here for 30 seconds. Almost there, 10 to go. And we're back up to our starting position. We're running on the spot. Almost there, come on. Let's go, running on the spot. No rest for the wicked, let's go. Pump those hands, high knees, soft landing. Really push yourself, it's the last round. It's not meant to be easy, come on. You can do a little back and forward if you need to. You're starting to get a bit tired. Let's go for 10, one, two, three, four. Come on, four to go. All right, back into it, let's go, come on. Come on, got to work. Keep up with me, we've got 10 seconds. Come on, we can make this, let's go. 
Keeping straight, core tight. Pump those arms. We're gonna go into crunch, left side. Two, one, let's go. Keep moving. Here, hand by your side. Up and pause. 30 seconds here. It's the last round, come on. Keep up with me. Think about what you're doing. Contracting that core with every rep. Almost there, 10 seconds. Come on, you got this. Come on. Back into Hindu push-ups after this. Start slow, get the form right. Then you can speed it up. So nice and wide, hands a little bit closer together and duck through. Up and out. This is too tricky, you can progress down to your knees just to get the right rhythm. Up and out. Same movement, we're just on our knees. One more. I'm gonna go back up onto my feet. So here, duck through and out. It's really good for shoulder mobility, this exercise, and you're also building strength. 10 seconds. Let's do a couple of fast ones. You ready? Let's go. There you go. Actually get a bit of tricep in there as well. Whew, come on. Two. One time. Other side now. Last set. Up and contract. Focus on your breathing. We've only got 30 seconds. Then you can get a little rest. Or you can just keep going. Come on. Almost there. 15 seconds. Try and hold up there as long as you can. Contract those muscles. Really feel the burn. Five to go. Three, two, one. Whew. Good work, guys, good work. For the 45 seconds of work, we're gonna do jump lunges. So I'm gonna start doing an alternating reverse lunge. Get that rhythm down. Now all the difference is now, the transition between this lunge is gonna be a jump. So we're gonna go in three, two, one. And I want you to land softly on the balls of your feet. Ready, so here we go, boom, there it is. Go down to where you feel comfortable. Your knee doesn't have to touch the ground. I think the only tip I could give you is don't go too far back so you're overextending. Keep it a bit tighter and cleaner. There you go, keep that weight on that front glute. So think 80% on this weight, on this front foot, 80%. Drive, we're almost there. Breathe, five seconds. Come on, work, two, one. All right, now we're gonna go into a core exercise. Just toe tap, so toes nice and pointed. You can cross if you want. Come up, reaching up. You can breathe for a second, refocus, drive up, all the way up, full reps. Come up and squeeze at the top. Try and hold it. Point the toes if you want. 10 seconds, let's go. Work now, come on. Breathe, focus on your breathing. Almost there. Two, one. All right, mountain climbers now, so. Push up position, shoulders back, spine neutral, head is neutral, and here, you're bringing that knee forward, aiming to get it in between your elbows. Get used to the movement first. Another way you can do this is jump. Pause for a second, jump. If that's easier for you, you can do this. Have a little rock in between. You can speed it up like this or you can be like this. Breathe, ready? I'm gonna go for five and let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, all right, now we're back into our 30 seconds of core workout. That is gonna be a static hold on our back. So here on your back, I want you to point your toes, hands up and just hold. Really focus on contracting this core in, drawing in those muscles and activating. If this gets too hard, you can bring your knees up to here, but I want you to push yourself as far as you can here. See how I'm shaking? I want you shaking. <laughs> Come on. Three, 
two, one. Back at the top, jump lunges. You know the drill, smooth transition, pump those arms, let's go. There it is. Find that rhythm, get your balance. You need to look at the ground, look at something. Back nice and straight, loading that front foot up. Nice smooth landing in between, come on. Almost there, work now. Come on, 20 seconds. Are you ready? We're gonna go hard for 15 and five, four, three, two, one, let's go, drive. Come on, almost like you're running. Come on, 10 seconds, push yourself. Come on, breathe, five seconds. Pump those arms, two, one, time, good job. Touching toes, feet up, chest nice and wide, up and touch. Breathe, up. Obviously the further down your legs are, the harder it is. So keep them here. Get reps, I want you to work for the 30 seconds. Come on, 10 seconds to go, come on. Work now, push, breathe, focus on your breathing. Two, one, mountain climbers, let's go. So push up position, like I said before, you can do the pause if you want, if that feels better for you. Do this for 10, I'm gonna break this down. 10 seconds here, see if you can keep up with me. Almost there, breathe. All right, now next one, slow. 10 seconds here. Contract that core. Breathe. All right, we're gonna go quick for 10, let's go. Come on, run. Breathe, 10 seconds. Come on, keep those knees going. 10, nine, come on. Push, push, push. Five, four, three, two, one. Back on our ground, let's go. Static hold, you know the drill. Feet up wherever you're comfortable, hands up. Try and roll that back off the mat, contract that core. 20 seconds, wanna make it harder, go down there, but whew, that is hard. Hands out, don't let them touch the mat. Point your toes, contract that core. Breathe, big breaths, five seconds, go low, go on. Three, two, one, and we are shaking. That means you are working and we are done. Good job, well done, yes. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs>